Our two-day transformation projects are the only design projects that we do as a complete surprise. We meet with the clients so we can get a sense for their style. We get designing, they leave for two days, and our team takes over their space and they come home to an all new room. Hi, my name is Jenna and I'm a mom of three kids and a blogger. I Instagram at Jenna's Kitchen. I reached out to Studio McGee after building our house and designing our house and realizing I had no energy left for my bedroom. In this new house, I really just want a place where I feel special and serene. So after having a few discussions and conversations with Studio McGee, they came to me and asked if I'd be willing to do a two-day transformation where I wouldn't know what the room's gonna look like. And at first I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this, but Honestly, it's taken all the pressure and the decisions off of me, and I know they're gonna do a good job. I've been following for years, and I totally trust them. And I think my husband's a little grateful not to be involved in the process. So we met with Jenna to talk to her about how she wants the space to function, how she wants it to feel. I love really neutral tones, but I love them to be bold. And I don't like a ton of big pops of color, but I like things to feel unexpected. So I love working with textures and earth elements like wood and rocks and crystals to create unexpected moments in a room. I am freaking out, so excited. It's definitely a dream of mine to have Studio McGee design a space and I can't wait to see what it looks like. The room is a completely blank slate. Nothing wrong with it. It's just white walls, carpet, and a big window for us to dress. Once we got a sense for the direction in the space, we started with the foundational elements like the walls and the ceiling. Originally we had envisioned beams going in that tray, then it kind of didn't work out with the spacing of the lights that are in there. So we decided to focus on the walls. There is a room in her house that she already really loves that has dark walls, and then the rest of the house is white. So we thought it would be a really cool blend of what's happening in her home to incorporate dark and light, and came up with this concept of doing dark paneling on the bottom and then white on the ceiling and up above. We always like to start with the space plan, and we've placed all of the furniture and artwork where it should go on the walls, and then we're left with one wall of three windows and it's really beautiful how much light it lets in but we also need to figure out how to dress the window. So today I'm at the shade store selecting shades and drapes for Jenna. Normally we are designing from our studio in Salt Lake. However, we are here in Costa Mesa to open up our very first McGee & Co shop, so we decided we would pop into one of their showrooms. I love the look of layered wovens and drapes. However, in this case, she has these really cool black windows and the grids are at the top and we didn't want the woven shade to cover those. So we decided to do working drapes and in this case we did blackouts in really great oatmeal linen fabric. I didn't know this before, but all of their window treatments are custom made by artisans in the US. Usually when we design and order custom pieces, it takes weeks or months to get the item. But when we ordered with the Shade Store, they were shipped out in 10 days or less, which is an incredible lead time. If you're not near a Shade Store showroom, it's really easy to get all the same perks. You can order samples online, you can work with a design consultant, and they can even help facilitate an installation. So there's a palette of the wall treatment materials in Jenna's driveway. So we decided to cheat a little bit and install the paneling and did the paint prior to the two-day transformation. We worked with Matri and did a board and batten detail a little more than halfway up the wall and keeping with the high contrast look that we were after, we painted it gravel gray by Benjamin Moore, but it actually looks more like a really dark blue. So this is day one of the transformation. The 
Shade Store is here installing the beautiful linen drapes and drapes can be a bit tricky and so I am really glad that the Shade Store helped us get it right. We had three windows, blackout drapes that were going to be working to cover all of those windows and those can be really heavy. Plus they had the soffit above, so they helped us choose the right hardware that would be strong enough to hold the drapes and then it had um, a really great track system to make it easy to open and close. I like my drapes to just kiss the floor and they got it just right. It adds so much layer and warmth to the space already. So now we are ready for day two to bring all the furniture in. Okay, hurry, 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 they're coming, they're coming up the stairs. Day two was a little bit nuts. The handymen were running late from their previous job, so we were waiting for them, and the AC in the room wasn't working, and so we had our whole team, our videographer, the photographer, everyone just sweating it out. Sometimes you put on a duvet the wrong direction. It's okay. <laughs> Our team has been quite literally sweating trying to put the whole room together. I just did one last sweep to make sure everything has been adjusted just perfectly and now we are going to bring Jenna up. This is actually the first project that we've ever done where it's been a complete surprise. So I'm honestly a little bit nervous but also really excited because it looks great. Okay, you ready for this? Nervous, I'm excited. Guys, I knew I was gonna cry. It is so beautiful. <laughs> it is gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I don't, I'm like speechless. This, oh. and there's no TV here. I'm so happy. <laughs> I was like, the one thing I want is no TV in my bedroom. I was like, are you sure? Yes, oh my gosh, you guys. I just, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you, it's gorgeous. I was just saying, I feel like I've never ever invested in a room. I've never, it's never been important to me, but it's like the place that we live yeah. the most. <laughs> and I just feel so spoiled and lucky. It's just gorgeous. Jenna had requested a meditation corner. So we wanted to create an entire vignette, not just put a chair in a corner. And we did that by adding a lamp and textiles, a side table, and it turned out to be a really cute spot in the room. I love that we did something new by doing a dark headboard against the dark Paneling. I think that the obvious answer would have been to do whiteboard and batten and then the dark paint up above and then do contrast with the headboard. But I think that it feels a little bit higher end and more thoughtful that we did something a little different. And we've added details that mean something to Jenna. She really wanted to incorporate crystals into the space and so we have those in this cool dish on the nightstand. And then the hanging plant adds a great natural element. The nightstands were on Jenna's list of favorite things from the shop, so we made sure that we incorporated them. And then we had this long wall to put artwork or a TV, and she said she was ready to get rid of the TV, so we did warm nightstands and then made sure that the console wasn't too matchy-matchy, so it has more of a gray finish to it. We had a lot of space to work with, so we did a great long console, she didn't need a dresser, and so we did this console concept. Will still be good for added storage, but it's also just a nice place to put a tray and a nice accent lamp. I love these masculine elements with the pretty light space. Like it feels like it can be just as much outer space as mine, yes. which I love.
you can shop literally everything in this space from McGee & Co. And if you think you are a good candidate for a two-day transformation and you're local in the Utah area, there's a form on our site that you can go apply. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.